BH palette. This is the second edition. If you have matte purples, you can just use that. You don't have to get this palette. Um, and then for my hair, I curled with the Infinity um, 3 fourth of an inch curling iron. And this one you can find at drugstores. And they're roughly around, what, 14 or 15 bucks. Starting off with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Purple Velvet. And this is going all over my lid. Just gonna blend up. Now I'm gonna take this very matte purple color and I'm gonna pat this onto the base. A little bit to the lower lash line. Now we're just gonna blend. I have this blending brush. A darker matte purple. Adding that. And I'm just bringing this to the outer corner like this, circular motions, and I'm gonna bring it up to the outer V. I'm also gonna bring it down low. And right over to the very end, I'm taking a silver. I'm gonna use um, Max Fix Plus to foil the eyeshadow to intensify the silver. And this is going right in the inner corner of the lower lash line. With liner by Maybelline. It's called the Line Stiletto. And then with a pencil liner, you're gonna line your lower outer half. I'm adding these false lashes. I'm sorry I don't remember the name of these, but they're just full fall slashes. Right now, I'm just wearing Revlon Color Stay Foundation in True Beige. This one's for oily combination skin. Now I'm going to use the Mali Shimmer Shape and Glow Palette to give my face more of a definition. So I'm going to start with the shader to contour. First, I'm going to start off um, with my cheeks and then I'm going to go with my temples, forehead, and so forth. This is one of my favorite like bronzer blushes. This is by NYX Ensemble, Bronze Ensemble. And I'm going to apply that to the apples on my cheeks and I'm bringing it up. I'm going to go with this matte lipstick by NYX. It's called Indie Flick. This is discontinued, I'm sorry, but it's called Cinched Up by MAC. Make sure you protect your hair with heat protectant. <laughs> then as always, I like to start off in layers, so that way it's just easier for me to curl my hair. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a larger section of hair. These aren't going to be too tiny. I'm just opening and closing the clamp so that the hair would fall in the palm of my hand. And if it unravels, that's fine. You could always just ravel it back up. Um, so you just take that and then taking my clip, pinning it down so that there's still heat and when it cools down, it holds its um, structure. I love this scent right now as the bedhead masterpiece. Quick little spritz and then let it cool down. And yes, I am going to interchange the directions of the curls. So this is all you're going to do for a little bit. Um, remember, you're taking larger sections of hair, not small sections, because then you don't want it to look too much like an like a afro. Now that we reach the top section of the hair, I'm going to slip my hair to the side. I'm going to curl outwards, but I'm not going to bring the curl all the way to the top. Okay, maybe midway, like so. I feel like this one doesn't even need to be pin curled, not the front. I'm gonna give this 10 minutes just to make sure that everything is cooled down and settled in. Let's do a little quick spritz around. And I'll be right back. Okay, now it's time to remove the hair pins and then start playing with the curls. You should have something like these Goldilocks curls. So I'm gonna take each section 
gonna comb it and then back comb a little bit. See how it gives it all that volume. And I'm gonna twist it so it stays in the curl. Then with this side, and you can you see the effect that um, combing with a brush will do and just lightly back combing. I'm not even teasing, I'm just back combing lightly and then setting with hairspray. Now that the curls are done, I'm just gonna take two bobby pins and it looks like what she did was pull her hair to the back on one side. And you're just gonna pin that down. Crisscross your bobby pins. And this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you later. Bye.